after the Canadian PM Justin Trudeau returned from the G20 summit from India, a lot of things have happened in the last week. In fact, it won't be wrong to say that the last week has been the lowest in terms of the relationship or ties between India and Canada. It reached up to a point when on 21st September, India has stopped issuing visas to Canadian nationals. Now, of course, because this was such an important topic, the mainstream media has been covering it all the way through. Both the Indian and Canadian media has been covering this topic. I don't want to get into the news, but rather in this video, we want to talk about what might be the repercussions of India taking such a bold step against Canada. Usually in such geopolitical situations, the other country also retaliates in the same way the first country has acted. So is there a chance that Canada might stop issuing visa to Indian citizens? And of course, what would be the impact on all those students who are planning to come to Canada in the January intake? What would be the impact between the travel between India and Canada? A quick update about the other services like OCI, PCC, passport issuance from India. Hello everybody, I'm Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and in this video we'll be talking about all these different points to summarize the impact of the visa ban that India has imposed on the Canadian nationals. Okay, when we talk about the impacts, there are so many ways in which this ban could impact the lives of Indians living in Canada and also all those people who want to immigrate to Canada from India. Okay, first of all, a sigh of relief for many people from India who are living in Canada. India has only suspended the visa services and they have not suspended any other services. So the PCC issuance, the passport renewal and even the OCI services are still ongoing. It's just the visa services which has been suspended. However, just like many people from India who might have recently got the Canadian citizenship, I am also sailing in the same boat. I don't have a visa to travel to India. I have to apply for the OCI, but we'll talk about that later sometime in another video. Okay, now let's talk about the big question. Will Canada retaliate in the same way and ban Indian nationals from getting Canadian visa? Usually in geopolitics, when some diplomatic turmoil actually happens and if one country takes a dramatic step, the other country usually also takes a similar step as well. For example, in this diplomatic situation earlier in the week, when Canada expelled one of the Indian diplomats, India suspended a senior Canadian diplomat. So what are the chances of Canada banning visas for Indian nationals? Because now India has banned the visa for Canadian nationals. So it has been four days now since India has announced this bold step, but Canada hasn't announced anything now. In fact, both the Canadian PM, Justin Trudeau, and the Deputy PM, Christia Freeland, was asked about the same question. Is Canada going to ban the visa for Indian nationals as well? And both of them neither indicated nor denied that this could be a possibility. India has suspended visa services here in Canada. Are we going to reciprocate? Are you going to take some kind of action, uh, tit for tat action in, in this? We call upon the government of India to take seriously this matter and to work with us to shed full transparency and ensure accountability and justice in this matter. We are a country of the rule of law. We are going to continue to do the work necessary to keep Canadians safe and to uphold our values and the international rules-based order. That's our focus right now. We've each expelled diplomats. Are you thinking about retaliating on the visa issue with India? As I say, for us, this is not about it, geopolitics. This is about Canada, the safety of Canadians in Canada. This okay. is about the rule of law in Canada and respecting all of that. As far as I understood, they both dodged this question. They did not say a word about visa ban, but rather talked about rule of law in Canada. However, there's always a chance of anything strange happening, but I feel that Canada banning visas for Indian nationals, the chances of this particular possibility are very, very low. And there are a couple of reasons why I'm saying this. 
Number one, Indian population is highest among the immigrant population in Canada. They have big trade ties, not just in the field of IT, but in the field of agriculture as well. They contribute billions of dollars to the Canadian economy. Out of all the international students studying in Canada, roughly around 40 to 50% of them are Indians. According to a report from 2022, out of 800,000 international students, more than 300,000 international students were from India. There are so many Canadian universities which rely on international students. If they ban visas for Indian nationals, it won't just be the visit visas, it would be the work permits, the PRs might be impacted, especially the student visas. Indian students add billions of dollars to the Canadian economy and it is very unlikely that Canada would let go of that opportunity. Lastly, there are so many people living in Canada who are now Canadian citizens, just like me. And of course, hundreds and thousands of Canadian permanent residents who still have Indian passports. The Trudeau government has been giving a lot of importance on family reunification. So if just in case they ban the visa for Indian nationals, it might backfire on them because they might get a lot of pressure from inside Canada. And of course, because this would be a very extreme step, this might not be good for them for the next elections. Now, of course, to retaliate, they might take some steps which might not be open to public as such. Having said that, this diplomatic tension between the two countries is certainly not going to help anyone, especially who's stuck between visas, applying visa for one country or the other. There might certainly be delays and the processing times might be way higher. And that is the reason why it's being recommended for all those international students who were planning to come in the spring season, which is the January intake in Canada. They are being recommended now to actually apply for the fall intake of 2024 because there's just three months left. And just in case, if the visa processing is delayed, then your career might be at stake. So it is highly advisable that if you're aiming for January intake, you should aim for the fall intake of 2024. Okay, now because of this visa ban, many people feared that Canada or India might impose a travel ban as well. The memories from COVID lockdown are still fresh in our minds. We know now anything could happen. So many people who had plans to travel are panicking about their travel. If you have a valid visa or if you have an Indian passport, there's no reason to worry. You can travel very easily without a problem. But this panic traveling has led to another problem. After COVID, the airfares between India and Canada have been very high, usually around $1,000 one way. But after this announcement and the panic traveling, more and more people want to travel as early as possible, due to which the airfares have shot up from 30 to 60%. Earlier, we at least used to get the one-way ticket around $1,000, but now expect to get one-way tickets from around $13 to $1,600. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Please let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on this current situation. This video I've made after a lot of time and hopefully this means that I'm back to YouTube. I'll try my best to make regular videos on YouTube now. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click the subscribe button because I make very interesting and informative videos for all of you guys out there. Thanks a lot for watching this video.